Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Today's video is going to be a collaboration with Plan With Elise. My followers on Instagram chose three sticker books for her to use and her followers chose three sticker books for me to use. So if you'd like to see what three sticker books were chosen for me and what I'm gonna do with them, stay tuned. So I'm really excited for this video because Elise is like a really, really good friend of mine and um, she's pretty much my planner bestie, if you know what that is. And I have been dying to collab with her. She just started a YouTube channel, YouTube. <laughs> um, I don't know what that was about. She just started a YouTube channel. Um, I think it was the last month or the month before. And so I'm gonna put her information in the description box. Check her channel out and subscribe because she's a great person. She has great contact content. She does a lot of um, like budgeting stuff too. So if you're interested in that, I know you guys keep asking me for that. I'm not a great budgeter, so I haven't done it. She's really good at that. So check out her channel. Okay. So on Instagram, and I just said this in the beginning, but on Instagram stories, we posted um, like a question box that said, which three sticker books do you wanna see Elise use? And she posted one, which three sticker books do you wanna see Mary Ellen use? And so we counted up the responses and I'll be using the three sticker books that were the most popular. So my books are Wild Styled, Bookish, and layered florals and i sat for a while and looked at these books and i was like what the heck am i gonna do with these books i could kind of cheat and just use like a couple of boxes from this book or something but i really wanted to try to incorporate the um the gist of all three books into the spread so we're gonna see i'm using pages from classic vertical planner i know this isn't really neutral because there's some blue on here but we're gonna take care of that so the first thing I'm gonna do is take these stickers from the Wild Style book. I'm kind of just gonna to try to do one sticker book at a time to just show show you what I'm thinking about. I only have a couple of ideas. I don't know how this is gonna like work out, but I really like these. And I thought maybe, actually I'm gonna cover up this first because I don't really need that in my life. It is a, um, it's just like, extra blue that isn't really to match the spread. So let's cover it up. I just have some label paper here and um, I'm just gonna cover it. So like I said, I was excited to do a collaboration with Elise. She's the sweetest person and um, I hope you guys will show her some love because she's new to YouTube and and also check out like she's also plan with elise on instagram and you can if you're not following her or me on instagram um go check our our instagrams out because there's a lot of stuff on there that i don't show on here like all my after the pens are on there and stuff because you don't always see that kind of stuff here so i mean i try to post them in the community tab on YouTube as much as possible, but sometimes I forget and I miss it. So anyway, there's other content on my, my Instagram that you won't find here. And then Elise's Instagram is really good as well. So, okay, so I'm gonna use these on the sidebar to start. And I think, I think maybe I will see the colors here I don't know I don't know that I want color in there so I'm thinking like this but there's not two of these however I do have two books so let's, let's look in my other wild style book and see if I have any of those I know I used a bunch yeah I don't really because I wanted like the gray ones but let's see what we can do here I'm not going to fill up that whole sidebar so maybe I can like cut some down if I put that there, although this is kind of like a bigger pattern here, so I don't know if that's gonna 
That's actually not. It's like the same as that outside one. Okay. And then there's this one too. Let me see how big this is. I never used to like like leopard print or cheetah print stuff until Wild Style came out. And then I'm like, eh, it's kind of cute. So I think this is going to work. All right, cool. So let's put this down. I'm going to start like right at the top there. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to like it. I'm gonna take it off the edge a little bit because this one's kind of going off the edge. So I wanna make sure I match that. I know there's a lot in the middle there. Let's see. I'm hoping this will take it down to pretty much the bottom. It doesn't go all the way, but that's all right. We don't need it to go all the way. We're just gonna go right to there. Okay. Let's cut this part off. And we're going to save these little pieces because I might need them somewhere else in the spread or in a subsequent subsequent spread. You don't we obviously don't need to save this little little piece. Okay. So we have that there. I see like there is a lot of overlapping here. So let me see if I can maybe cut a little bit of that off so it's not so noticeable. That looks a little bit better. Um, so I, I wanted to do each of these books one at a time because <laughs> if I'm being transparent here, here's why I'm doing that. Because I'm making a TikTok. If you're not following me on TikTok uh, and you're on there, check me out on there it's planning with Bumble there, but I haven't posted a lot on there because I don't really know what to post. And also I'm not really experienced in making them, but this one, I'm gonna make one that's like, since it's three sticker books, I'm gonna make one that has me doing this, like a blank page and then has me throwing the sticker book down and then the stickers from that sticker book showing up and then throwing the next sticker book down and then those stickers showing up and then until then the last one. I don't I don't even know how to do that, but I decided I'll do one sticker book at a time. I don't, I don't know if this is going to work. So if you are on TikTok and following me and don't see it, well, then it didn't work. <laughs> I might use these gray guys here, but I also might use these. So let's use like these to cover up some sections here. This is going to be one crazy spread. <laughs> it's going to be a little wacky. I don't know. Like that combination is really weird. But thank you for giving me a challenge, everybody. If you're one of the ones that chose, answered Elise's poll and chose the sticker books. Thanks for giving me a challenge. I like a good challenge. Okay, so that so far, I am gonna use some of these boxes, I think, but I really don't know where yet. I have to look in these other books and I'm doing like a, a black, a pink, maybe like a light green and a gray. I'm gonna be using these houses here. Where are they? Oh, an orange. This is gonna be crazy. I am using these house. I'm doing not the green. Although there will be some green leaves coming down here. So I might have to balance that somewhere, but I'm using houses and leopard print and leaves. This is going to be crazy. How about books? I could use books. I don't know. It's going to be like a mish mash of fun. So let's use a couple things here. about that? It's not going to match the pink in here. Kind of, not really. Is there another? That one. 
it's hard because I always like do the decorations, then the boxes, then then more decorations. But this time I, I can't really do it that way. So because of what I'm doing on TikTok, I don't know. I'm making this more difficult than it needs to be for sure. But that's the story of my life. I tend to do that. <laughs> I tend to make things a little bit more difficult than, than they need to be. Do you guys do that? Um, there was a sticker here I was going to use. That's why I'm looking. Where is it? This one. I just want to read and take take naps. And it kind of matches this. So I think that I can use this somewhere. Also, I think I want to like cover up the blue lines because there's not going to be any blue. How about I put unlimited potential? How about right here? Okay. And then the houses are going to go like down here. Just thinking this through. Let's see what this would look like here. I could put this here and then I could put some of those leaves that I'm putting over there below it maybe. I don't know. Let's try it. I don't know if you can see that. Let's add some washi tape in. Let me grab my skinny washi. I think I'll just have like some plain pink or plain black or both. I don't know if I have plain, but like just something really subtle. I don't want anything crazy because I've got a lot of craziness going on here and it's going to continue to get more crazy. Hmm. I wish I had like a really skinny plain black. I could always like take a Sharpie or something or like some kind of marker and just do a line, but I'm afraid I'll screw that up. So at least washi we can reposition, right? How about maybe this little scallop? And I may use some pink too. Here's like a pink that's solid. I don't know about that color, but that could work. Let's see if I have a lighter one. The pinks that I have really aren't very pink pink, except for this one. And I'm not sure I want to add in polka dots, even though that color looks really good with it, doesn't it? But I think that's going to be like extra crazy. So let's try this and this and let's just see what we can come up with here okay so i decided not to use that pink because there was purple in there i didn't realize it was like a tie-dye thing um so i brought in some of this like orangey peach which i think is going to match okay I realize there's blue at the bottom of the page here, but I think that's going to be okay. I also saw here, and I was telling you about this, that I was thinking about using this. These for like the bottom, and I know it's a lot, but if I bring in these houses, I feel like they're going to need something to sit on. So let's, let me just look at this situation here and see. These houses are big. I was counting on these as like maybe a street sort of, do you know what I mean? Cause they're gray. I don't know, this is all kind of crazy. Um, but if I put it all the way down at the bottom, it would cover that blue. And then maybe I could put that kind of over top of that a little bit. I know we've got lines here, but 
think that's all right. Let's try it. This one's going to fit all the way. Now I've got it. Now I've got to take the backing up because I pulled this up and if I don't take the backing up, it's going to be, if I go to put this back down and I know like you guys say, I should have wax paper next to me. You're right. So that I can place those stickers down. You're right. I should, I should have that. It's also kind of noisy. Like the wax paper on the videos is kind of noisy. That might be another reason that I sort of don't use it that much. I don't know. I don't like the noise. Okay. Um, so this is this length. Let's try it. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm doing, but let's try it. I know there's a little like blue hanging off the side there. I don't know if that's going to bug me or not, but it's kind of really subtle blue. It's like light, so maybe it won't bother me. I'm going to put one over here. And then I think I'm done with wild style, so I'll have to pause this and go <laughs> film the second par part of that TikTok that I may never post. Oh, and I decided when I was um, using, like when I was putting down washi tape, I decided that I'm going to include like the after the pen in that TikTok. So don't look for it anytime soon. It will be at least a week before I will post that. Okay, um, hang on a sec. All right, so I think, whoa, what happened to my voice? All right, <laughs> sometimes my voice just cracks like crazy. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm not hydrated enough. Did you ever think of that, Marianne? No. All right, layered florals is next. And I'll tell you what crazy thing I'm gonna do with layered florals. I'm gonna use, you would think maybe I would use those, but no, well, now that I'm looking at these, wow, that really matches pretty well. But since I'm doing like pink and orange houses, it's not really gonna match. So what I decided I would use are these. I know, call me crazy. I know some of you like watch my videos and you tell me that <laughs> while you're watching them, you're going, no, no, don't do that. That's not a good idea. And then at the end of the video, you, um, you're like, wow, like I didn't think that was gonna work and somehow it worked. That's what I'm hoping for this. It could be a massive fail. Stay tuned, keep watching and we'll see. Cause I don't even know what's gonna happen. That's the fun of doing these videos on the fly, like without voiceovers or anything. I have no idea what's gonna happen. But I thought I would layer these with these leopard print stickers. I have no reasoning for that other than I thought that the colors would match and I need to use stuff from this book and I wanted to kind of not use florals. I wanted to do something different. So I don't know. Let's wing it and see what we've got. Just overlapping that a little bit. Never would have thought to do this um, if it weren't for this challenge. So if you're like stuck and you're you're not like being creative lately, because it happens to all of us, I highly recommend you challenging yourself by having like someone else pick your sticker books for you or something like that. Because when I do these challenges, like I did one where Allie picked my, my books and um, it was really, really challenging, but I loved how it turned out. Like it was one of my favorite spreads of this year. Um, I'll try to remember to put a card up at the top there. So you can watch that video if you want to, where Allie chose everything that um, I was going to be using in my spread. And uh, I loved how that one turned out. So, and I never would have thought to do that. So don't be afraid to try new stuff because sometimes it'll take you out of your creative rut. I don't know if I like that. I think I'm gonna use just the big leaves. It might take you out of your creative rut into something that you did not expect. And that in turn can affect future spreads like if you like bring on creativity and do something you wouldn't normally have done, then that might give you ideas in the future for things that would look good that you wouldn't think would look good. So that's why I like these challenges. They're just like really, not only are they fun, but it's kind of just pulling you out of that slump sometimes and giving you ideas. I think, let's try this.
that's kind of cool, right? I think so. Anyway. This one's tough. Okay. Do I want to bring it all the way down? Maybe because it does have this harsh end there. So maybe I just bring the leaves down. You won't notice that as much. I could bring in, let me look at that wild style book again, because maybe I could bring in like something, a small bit of that, like one of these pieces. I know that it's going to be a little busier, but it'll fill that up and it's, um, mm -mm, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that because it definitely is like, but let me see. Because if I fill that up and then cover it with this, you're probably not going to notice that it's different from the rest of them. But you might notice if I don't put something there, you might notice that it's not there. Do you get my drift? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? I hope so. I know it's like a line, but we're going to we're going to take care of that by covering it up with these cute leaves. Maybe I want to do this, kind of pull some down there. I don't know when you're putting down stuff like this, it's hard to know, like the order and the positioning to, to use because you want to make it look sort of different, but coordinated at the same time. How about I bring that like Hmm. See, there's not a lot up here on the side. Do you see what I mean? There's not a lot of green throughout here, so I'm not sure I want to start bringing green throughout the bottom there. I mean, I could. And again, this isn't rocket science, you guys. I mean, honestly, this is like... Maybe I want to bring a little bit more of that. I mean, it's a planner page. <laughs> It's not rocket science. You can do what you want. And it doesn't have to be like crazy perfect, but you know me. Well, you might not know me, but if you do know me, you know I, I get to be a little bit like this at times. So I know that's bringing that, but I'm going to cover that and pull this in. But let me see. Maybe take one of these littler guys here. Right, let's try that. Oops, that's kind of cool. All right. Uh oh, my washi's coming up. Yeah, that, that looks good. All right, and so since I have this much green here, I'm gonna wanna bring that color over to this side of the page. That looks really cool, actually. I'm really, really pleased with that um, because this green is so bright and it's almost like a blue green. I really, really like that. And I thought I would bring some in over here, maybe. Maybe coming down from this box. Let's see if we can do that. I don't know how that's gonna be, but or overlapping the box even. The problem is it's black, so it's gonna look, it's gonna be very hard to kind of see. This is gonna be like a gratitude box and I wanna make sure I leave room in there to write. Um. Hmm, I don't know. I don't have any more of this same like big leaf thing going on. So I'm unsure. I've got some of these smaller ones that I can sort of add in, but I guess I don't have to like go all the way across, but probably I should have brought in from the side then. Advice, I need advice people. You're slacking with the advice. I could do this. I don't know. Eh. Maybe maybe I need to put a couple leaves here to make it like leafy all over. A little leaf explosion. Who knows? 
I just want on the right size leaves, but what if I cut this? Again, the purpose is to have fun in your planner. So if you're like doing weird things, it's okay. It's fun. And like next week, you can do a more classic spread if you want. Because there's always next week. That looks kind of neat. Okay, let's leave that alone. And again, cut your stickers and form them into something else. All right, let's leave that there for now. And let me just make sure there's nothing else in this book I want to use because once again, I'm gonna be doing that, that TikTok. I could put some leaves up here, but I don't know if I wanna get that leafy. I, I didn't even plan to bring these in, so I think, this is a really pretty book, by the way. I think that's all I'm using out of this book. So hang on a minute. Bumble is barking in the background. She's a barker, folks. But not inside. She doesn't bark inside. She only barks outside. Imagine that. Maybe some like that color. Whenever someone comes to the door, she doesn't bark. It's so weird. Like if we get like delivery or something. She wants the person to come in and see her, but she doesn't bark at the doorbell or anything. She only barks outside at other dogs, <laughs> but she can't see them because we have a high fence, but I guess she hears them. She goes crazy. I'm trying to see, like there's this one. I don't know. Let's try just a couple of these and just see how it goes. This, this color is like different than that color a little bit, but it's more matchy to the dog. So, so that's okay. All right, so we have a few boxes. I think I want a box over here too. So let's find one. So maybe this one. This was the one I was talking about. Let's see if this will match. I know that's like different from the rest, but it's the weekend, so that's kind of okay. Let's just put it down. All right. Um, it's cute, right? I want to grab that, this one, the Dreamer sticker, because I didn't forget. You didn't remind me, but I didn't forget. Maybe you did and I didn't hear you. That's a very strong possibility. I'll put this, oh wait, lines. Hold up. I didn't leave sufficient line area. I could put some here and move this over. Let me do that. I kind of like this jungle I've got going on. I said forest before, I meant jungle. It's kind of a jungle. I didn't really think of it that way, but I kind of like it. It's a jungle. Here's, here's what it could be. It's like... It's like that this is your, this is like you're sitting reading. Oh, I wanna put books in here. I wanna put books in because you're sitting down and you're reading. It's a whole theme. It's a whole theme. You're sitting down and reading and this is the book. It's like about animals and the forest. <laughs> Am I going crazy? But this could be like you were just sitting here peacefully reading because it's about reading, but then this is the fiction that you're reading. I think that's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> Just thought of that. All right, let's get some books because then it'll be a real like book vibe and that will further um, match that theme that I'm going for. Maybe like one of these black books or a book stack, but there's too many colors in the book stacks, so. I am thinking 
either one of these big ones, but there's not a lot of room for that, or maybe a couple of black ones. Let's see. Hmm. I have plenty of options. I could put them like with the animals. I put one here. there and one there. There's a lot going on in this corner though. I don't know if I want to go that far. I kind of like the idea of it here though because it's like fictional. I don't know. Let's try one. I don't know, there's so much black then. I kind of don't want two books on the bottom, so I think I could put it here. Let's see. That's not bad. Okay, let's leave those there. All right, now we've got a theme. I love it when my pages turn into like a theme. Because sometimes it's just like, well, that's pretty, but sometimes it's an actual freaking theme. This one was crooked. So we're going to redo that. I can't wait to see what Elise comes up with. Her sticker books were challenging too. I'm not going to tell you what they are because I'm going to make you go watch her video. And I'll link her video in the description box too. Um, so you can see what her... Uh, sticker books are okay let's put a couple lines in and i'm going to use the happy planner checklist stencil you know i like to use that this guy they're always in my description box so i'm going to use a couple of these oh and this time i'm using a muji 0.38 in one of my recent videos i said that the muji was acting weird and it, it was loose well somebody told me thank you thank you i forget your name whoever told me all you have to do is twist this bottom to tighten it, and now it doesn't do that. And I love the Muji. I'm like in love with these Muji pens. I like them better than my Pentel pens at this point. So yeah. So I'm gonna just do a couple of lines here. I'm gonna do some right here um, on this block. And I don't think I'm gonna use the little squares because I think it's gonna be really busy as is. And I, I'm only gonna do, I'm not doing all of them either. Anyway, I'm using a 0.38. It's like the thinnest one they have, I think. Because I don't need thick lines for the spread. That looks cute. Okay. And now I'm going to put some up here, I think. Um, when you're doing these, I've said this before, but just to reiterate, when you are using this stencil, people sometimes ask me, like how I do it without it messing up. First of all, you have to hold it down really hard, make sure it's really tight against the page. And then when you're doing it, make sure you start all, I know this is self-explanatory, make sure you start all the way to the left and do it pretty quickly. If you're trying to do it slowly, it's not gonna work out for you. Okay. I'm not crazy about the fact that I only have lines in two places. I almost want to move this over and put lines here. But I don't know how I feel about that either. Um, let's see. Let's move it over and just see what that would look like. I realize I took off the month too. We need to deal with that, but... that there and then I could put lines there it's gonna run into that sticker though I don't know how I feel about that oh boy decisions decisions I think I'm gonna move that back a little bit I don't think I'm gonna put lines there because of this sticker so I could put lines here but then we're gonna have lines there and there. I could move this. I 
I could move this over and put lines there. I'm trying to balance out the line situation. Do you know what I mean? But then it's, it's going to be very busy. So maybe I'll just leave it like this. I think I'm okay with that for now. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to put something else here though, I think, because that space is bugging me a little bit. So let's look in the wild style again. And then I'm almost done. Don't worry. Uh, maybe like a light pink something or other. I don't know these little boxes. Or this like little remember. That's cute. Sometimes all you need is like a little sticker that's reminding you of like one word. That's really cute. <laughs> kind of in love with this. I'm kind of in love with it. I'm not going to lie. Um, since I can't use another sticker book, I'm going to write in August up here with just like a black pen. And I'm going to try to do it so I don't mess up. Otherwise, I'll have to cover it up and do it again. But that's okay, too. Um, so let me get, let's see, what pen do I want? Maybe like... How about a, no, that's not the one I want. Like a, um, a whatchamacallit, a tom, not a Tombow, a tool. How about a tool pen? Where is it? Like this one. I think this is like, like a 0.7 or something. So let's just do August. And I think I'm going to do it in like cursive. So let's try it. messed up that S, that U a little bit, but that's okay. And then I'm going to go in and like do the downstrokes a little bit thicker. So it kind of looks like brush pen littering. It's not, um, it's not going to be perfect, but it make it look a little bit more like cool. Right. Um, yeah, I'm done. Woo. I did it. I accepted the challenge and I blew it out of the water. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm in love with it. <laughs> I'm like really stoked because I'm in love with it. And I'm glad that I didn't use the houses. And I'm glad that I moved the stickers around when I did. Um, because I think it's really freaking cool. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for Doodle of the Day and go check out Elisa's video. I'm sure it's going to be fun and entertaining and, and I can't wait to see what she does. So I'll see you soon. Bye.